Hi you guys, so if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Vivian, aka Annette. So I am here this morning. I figured I would do another video. This video is basically a typical day for me as far as working, homeschooling, and being a wife and mom. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, just to let you know, I do have several work from home videos. I will be linking in this particular uh, video. Now, I have work from home videos when I was a single mom. I have work from home videos when I was married. And now this is a work from home homeschooling video now that we are in the middle of a pandemic so that you can see the differences. And I will say each of them, of course, have its pros and cons. This one has been the most challenging, This the situation we're in right now. Um, it was hardest when my son was actually in school doing virtual learning because I had to go by their schedule, their guidelines, their curriculum. Back in March, my husband and I made the, de made the decision to pull him out of school and to homeschool him. And I have been working from home now, going on seven years, so I'm used to the schedule. So I work for one of the major healthcare IT companies in the world. By trade, I am a learning management system administrator. I work in education but what i basically do you guys is manage online training set up training um uh, configure training in our system for our our associates and our clients okay so depending on what's going on the work week it get really busy um it's just right now it's just me and another person managing the system and it's a lot it's a lot of work um, I won't go into detail with that, but just, just give you an over overview. I find that for me personally, it's really important that I prioritize my workload, family life, and just to ensure that I have a work-life balance, okay? So one of the things I do is I plan. I have a little planner here. This is a um, happy planner. My husband works in the hospital. He is extremely busy. He was busy before, but now with the numbers escalating, they are extremely busy. Um, he has a second shift schedule, so we only see my husband two to three hours a day, okay? Anyway, you guys, it is now 6.30, and my little boy is up, and he is on 100, and I'm on like 10. Um, I have some things I want to get done for work, but seven years old, you know, um, yeah, it is what it is. So JP, we're going to have to go hard with homeschooling today. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. So kid is squirted away. He calmed down eating breakfast. So anyway, let me get back. Um, a couple of emails came in. I I thank God I have next week off because next week is technically my little boy's birthday, but we're celebrating tomorrow. But um, just really busy at work, so I more than likely we have to check in, log in at work. All right, so this is our homeschooling area. We used to be back here quite often, but now it's just easier to be at the kitchen table. We may, you know, go back and forth, but my husband is literally on the other side of this room. He's up now. So I'm just going to start getting some things together. A lot of the things you see here, I purchased on Amazon, some stuff I had. This is all of the curriculum we have. We have some things down here and I have some things in these storage bins. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get some things together and I'll show you guys what we're going to be doing today. It has, but it really hasn't. All right. Oh, well, what about the new year and in, in the end? What about the new year and 2020? Nah, it still hasn't. So JB, we're gonna discuss different types of sentences again, and I know you've already covered a lot of this um, last year. So we're gonna talk about the difference between statements, questions, exclamations, and commands. Exclamation point. Um, okay, here's an exclamation point. Here's the sentence that exclamation point. Okay. Boy, you better, you better, you better lose weight or else I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the belt and, and whoop you. <laughs> so remember, sentences start off with a- Also, it's hard to fill out, so why, so why do I got to add a letter? Let's so calm down. What? He's kind of showing out because he's on camera. So with every sentence, it begins with a capital letter. So for each one of these sentences, I just want you to capitalize the letter, okay? Kind of showing off because I'm on camera, I'm not. 
you just for you saying that that tells me that you're showing off for the first sentence can you eat the first sentence out loud please um <laughs> oh skip I swear to I wrote it so fast, but I wrote it. I you wrote, wrote it neatly. neatly. Yeah, you wrote it fast, but you wrote it neatly. I, wrote I don't think I can see I wrote, that, darling. I wrote it this fast. Yeah, but you wrote it. You wrote it pretty neatly. I don't think they can see that it's too, there, too bright. There you go. You can see it now. You can see it now. A couple of more. Skip. I skipped out of here because you were getting on my nerves. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> Skip. Awesome. <sighs> Good job, JD. Good job. I really like kind of 80s. <laughs> uh, you wrote it like 80s, like? Because mm -hmm. right. the S, it was like. Mm, mm, mm. Now you are going to read to Mama. His name is Rusty. Mm hmm. <laughs> What were the parents thinking? Oh. So, Rusty and Ribbit were walking on the <laughs> That was so easy. And a boy and... So thankfully I had everything just put together from, sorry y'all, forgot from two days ago. Um, I'm a little discombobulated. Clearly. Um, in between all of this, I've also edited two uh, videos and upload one video. Um, he also has a YouTube channel, but lately I just do not have the time. All right, so I have this is what I use. It's a teacher planner that I purchased on Amazon. Um, Monday through Friday is what I use to plan out what we're doing throughout the the actual week. Now I have a curriculum Excel spreadsheet that lists everything and then I further list everything we're going to be doing for the month and then this is the weekly, okay? How are you guys? So now it is one o'clock. My husband just left and um, my the reason why it's quiet now is uh my Jubessa, my child JB has is over my neighbor's house. She runs an indoor playground. Not an indoor, <laughs> indoor playground. She has a in home daycare. And um just a second, I have let me get back on track. So you guys saw we did some homeschooling. JB's in a very silly mood. And you know, that's how it is with, you know, small children. You don't know what mood they're gonna be in. Overall, I would have to say that my child is not as resistant to homeschooling as long as I switch it up. We still, I feel like, as opposed to when we first started, lately it has been, um, I said, we, we need to give it 100%. Today he gave it 90%. Oftentimes, I do have to persuade him. Um, so like I said, right now, I do get a little break because he's with the neighbors and she she keeps all the kids in the neighborhood, actually. Um, and so, yeah, I could do a little bit more work, catch up on some emails like I'm doing right now. I don't have anything that's pressing. Thank God, knock on wood. It's not so bad right now because I did a lot of work, you know, earlier in the week. Um, so... It's quiet, so as a mom, and you know, I use this time, okay, now that there's no one here, do I wanna have 30 minutes of quiet work? Do I wanna make a quick YouTube video? Do I wanna organize homeschooling stuff? What do I wanna do? Um, my days, depending on what's going on, my days in around work-related, work ends for me around between three and four o'clock. Um, but mind you, I started work at, today I started at five. <clears throat> and so I think I am gonna go ahead and record a YouTube video real quick, you guys, and organize some homeschooling stuff in the back. I did let my child know that, hey, you know, you didn't give it 100%, so we're gonna be doing some schoolwork from the weekend. And he was okay with that. As long as I give him a heads up, he seems to be okay. But I, oh, this is what I was gonna say. Sometimes I do have to bribe him. I have to say, you know what, if you sit here and do all of your schoolwork, let's push it out in two to three hours, then we could do AYC. A you know what I mean? And he's okay with that. 
um so i'm hoping that this year will be okay because it's it's been a struggle trying to do a lot when it was really busy one of the things i do want to mention is how i record what we learn i basically use a spiral notebook and jot down all the things we have done and that is it so now as far as dinner go like i'm already trying to think about what are we what are we going to eat so i have leftover macaroni and cheese in there um i did put out some meats for me to cook over the weekend um and so i would more than likely order in like it's friday i want to relax because tomorrow i will be cooking a huge meal i'll be cooking several um dishes actually to last us for a couple of days and so today is going to be my, re my relaxed day so i will probably order raisin cane here in a minute and i need to go ahead and set this stuff in the back and just start prepping for the next day i'll probably start to straighten up a little bit since my husband is gone my husband is the type of person he cleans up after himself thank god so i don't have to like clean and be cleaning up after two children you know what i mean all right you guys so now it is four o'clock we are having dinner i ordered in like i said some raisin cane poured myself a glass of wine because it is friday put up my out of office because i'm out of office um getting some stuff ready for tomorrow and this is it i'm still waiting on the supplies for my um uh, that i ordered from christian light education that's going to be delivered tomorrow this is it this is a, like i said a typical day but today it was actually it was a little atypical because it wasn't too bad besides that little mishap of the sd card it wasn't bad as far as homeschooling goes and work related i just say whenever you're doing both all the above to just be open remain flexible and just take every day one day at a time okay that is it thank you so much for watching take care bye